I got these little marks. Just finish right left mark. Do you want me to loosen it? Yep, right there. Okay. Yep. Close. Give me a minute. I'll be back and get the guider. So the guider the guider's as far forward as I can to make it even with the counterweight down there. And I have some friends, Spider-Man. And I also have a laser. So when you do your first star alignment, if it doesn't land right on, I can turn the laser on and uh, get really close to the star I'm shooting, Deneb. Well, it, so what's the elastic band on there for? Uh, it's for show. It does absolutely nothing. Okay. When I had my uh, dew heater, I would just throw it over top to make sure it's nice and snug. Okay, so now the wires. Lots and lots of wires. Now this harness does more than one telescopes. I'll have um, the Malacan VRC6. has an autofocuser. This is the primary cable for the VRC6. But it can't be used here. Why? Well, watch guys. It's just not going to reach. Okay, so that's that. Power for the tech thermal thermoelectric coolers for the uh, 183. Let's drop all these now. But we can put on, and nobody uses this, but I put it on because it's part of it. Is let's put the guider on. But these wires, I don't want them dangling, so I'm going to put them inside the cradle, like this. Okay. Now do this in a minute. So here goes the camp. There we go. And technically, people usually burn these. I put it in, uh, or sometimes I go with ST4 and not ASCOM, but that's good. So here we go, that's good. Now, notice there's a big tie wrap here. Why do I want to do that? Well, if I don't do this, there'll be some cable. I don't want to take it right now. I'm gonna get um, cable drag. And for example, if I do this, Okay, and I'm, and I'm going to the east towards M33. Okay, there's so it's important that we have this management thing pretty good. Now, don't over tighten this, make it just so it's snug. But I got some play here, not a lot. I wish I had more. If I go to M45, which is the Pleiades, I'm here, but now watch the cable as I'm as I'm slewing towards the meridian. Okay, so here we go two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock in the morning, I'm on the Meridian, and right about here I hit the eave trough. If my personal camera woman shows us the eave trough, I can't go any further. There's not even a point of doing a Meridian flip. All right, let's go back. And this isn't balanced yet, so I gotta balance in the moment. I'll show you guys how to balance this big monster. So back to home, there's two slots down here. I mean, there's a little mark. A little marks here, good. Now, remember how I said this cable won't reach? So for that reason, and by the way, I'm gonna kind of put a little elastic band here. I have a second wire down here. So we'll take that off. Okay, just take it off. I love these little Velcro, mini Velcros. Man, look at the nice, look how your, your wiring harness ends up being together. So I'm just gonna do this, follow along the path. Always stay on the path, by the way. And I'll, I'll, I'll actually put it on and we'll come back and, and follow it. So remember what I said about straight up? So it's kinda high here, but we'll see if I can turn it. Straight up. And it doesn't need anything else. There's no guiding and there's no tech. All right, so we want to come back here a bit. Okay, and we'll undo our tr our strap as earlier. That moved your laser. Did it? Yeah. Did it actually pull on it? Yeah. Okay, well, it's my fault. I'll straighten that out tonight. There we go. Actually have to, it's actually not on. It's not on, it's not perfectly on. So let's, that was a good thing that I actually bumped it. 
because I want to redo it. Hey, pay close attention to uh, if you guys have one of these. Pay close attention to how you set up your wires along the body here. This is way too long. We can come down lots, but not too tight. Okay. You notice these tie wraps? Let me just back off of it. You notice these tie wraps? I can click them and undo it, and then push back in and click it. They're, they're lockables, unlockables. What an, you know, I'd have to cut 100 of these a year, but I don't have to, why? Because they can release there. So I come along here, remember this little guy? So I wanna put him along here too, right here. And I take him off nightly, depending on what telescope's on here. That's a lot of wires, eh? that's a lot of wires. I used to have a harness, but I have to change the harness, it's too small, three quarter inch won't cut anymore. I now need one inch. Okay, so this is pretty good, it could be better. It's a little tight down here. So, all right, I lower this down. Depending on my target, depending on my target, I might give this a little bit more slack. Okay, so let's balance this. So here's my approach to balancing this whole thing. Let's do um, eastbound. So counterweights, east, tube, west. So the first thing I do is loosen both. And I'll turn, always keep an eye on your cables, by the way. Turn this part way, and I'll go this way with the, uh, and I'm probably going to run out of cable. That's it, right here. No, I'm good. All right, so let's do this. Now, I'm just going to let go. Now, where's it going? East, but oh, way too much. That'll probably be hard on the gears. Let's do it again. So here's what I do. Over here, I move the counterweight forward. This is way too much fall. So I'll give it about three quarters of an inch, maybe even an inch. Ready? Let's go. Good. So now I do this. Will fall? Yes. Now it's really hard to pull back up. So perhaps I've gone too far forward. In other words, there's too much weight that way because I have to really reef up. And I don't want the gear to force. But at the same time, since we're going this way, that's too heavy. So back up, quarter inch. Tighten it up. Back to the horizontal. Let go of it. And it stops. That's that's nice. That'll do. That'll pretty. If if the guiding's good, this will be good. And of course, this part. Let's do this again. You notice the the tube's not falling in each direction. Why is that, guys? I'm going to tell you a trick right now. Let me show you something. Let's just turn the telescope and stop. Let me just go over. This way. I want you to notice one thing. I'm going to explain this to you. She's going to do a nice zoom in. Do you see this? A counterweight bar comes all the way up and it ends up dead center here with this locking mechanism so I made a mark here what is this the center fulcrum I guess you could use that word but how do I take how did I get this mark here it wasn't after the fact of putting a telescope on but it was in the house so I took the whole telescope fully loaded without the cap and I put a bolt on the table and I put the telescope on the bolt and I teeter-tottered it back and forth back and forth teeter not that way this way teeter totter and then when I when it was completely balanced I took the marker and marked it I came back outside and if this center follows this which is entire it's like um, doing the balance of a plane where the center of gravity on the wings are it's super not too heavy not too light you get you attain you attain perfect fo focus <laughs> Well, there you go. Balance? Yeah, balance. You'll attain perfect balance if you have it marked off already in the house ahead of time. And it works for a, a Celestron 8. It works for Newtonians and more. All my telescopes have been balanced pre. What if I can't go too far here? See, I'm running out of cable. But it's okay. I'm always shooting about this angle. Even if it's down at the horizon, all the way up to about here for the, um, you know, bubble nebula, fireworks galaxy. That's pretty well it. Um, we could all maybe just do a quick test if you want. I'll power up. You'll see the hand controller come on. It was supposed to. If not, I probably forgot to pull. Forgot to plug it in. <laughs> yeah, let's turn it off. I'll just pause. do a quick yeah. So we're gonna power it up and verifying package. Please wait. Now I have it in hibernate mode, so it's sleeping. It's asking to wake up on the Celestron. So wake. One moment. 618. Yes. Ready. So let's salute to Vega, which is just not too far up here. Stars. Named star. 
And I think you have to go down to go to Z. Z. Where am I going? There we go. Let's go up, up, up. And as I hit figure, she's going to back up and watch it. Ready? That should work. Here we go. Very smooth. Not that loud. If it was belt driven like my Optron, you wouldn't hear this at all. If you think it's broken, it's like, nope. That should stop fairly soon. That's it. That would be your first, first star alignment. Now, as you can see, Vega's in the clouds, and I didn't put my cloud filter on today, so you won't see it. But basically, that's what I do. And for those people who have Celestrons, let's go back to the home position. I'll show, show, show zoom in. So we're on Vega. I'll go back, back, menu, find utilities, enter, home position, go, go. One, two. And then once we reach that, that beautiful red blanket, I will show you guys how to park it so you don't lose your alignment every night. And did it land real close? Very good. What about down here? Mm -hmm. A little bar here. A little, little bar down here, way down here. Okay. There it is, okay, good. So back to the hand controller. Here, back, back, enter, sorry, enter, one, two, three, four, five. Hibernate, yes. Please put your scope in the home position, which it did, because we parked it. Enter, power off now, and you will save all your settings. So just go in the back, hit the switch, click, and we're off. And even if you pull the power now, it doesn't matter because it's in, there's a, a real time clock inside the hand controller. And now you're parked for the next night. And if you don't move your tripod, you can go three nights of plate solving and always land dead center on your target. Well, I've never done this before and I'm not a video to make... Uh, I don't make videos to show what I do with my gear, but some people have asked and maybe if you enjoy it and you say do some more, I can do with various scopes. I have the Malincam VRC6, I have the refractor and Barb's beautiful 8 inch F4. So that's it. You saw the, uh, the balancing, setting up your camera, 90 degrees straight up so you can get your targets well oriented with your plate solving. You have a laser in case you're doing your first alignment, you just cannot find it in your guider. So this comes in handy. Um, and then the wiring, just make sure everything's nice and snug and not pulling, if it's at least not pulling, so you don't have drag on PhDs trying to make corrections. Okay, that's pretty well it, everything's pretty good. So we're balanced, we're ready for tonight. Hopefully we'll have, uh, hopefully we'll uh, have, uh, We'll have some clear skies and we'll be able to show the entire, entire setup and voila.